Our autumn curry stew starts by sauteing some chopped onion that the fresh cut section made super easy for us. And then about a half cup of shredded carrots. So we'll go ahead and get those in. And then we're just gonna let those go until the onion gets translucent, a little brown. Now at this part also, I like to add about half of the curry that we're gonna use because this gives the curry a chance to get slightly toasted. Then we're gonna add minced garlic. Now this is about three cloves. I like a lot of garlic. You could easily back off a little bit of this, but you're gonna let that saute for about a minute just until the garlic's fragrant. Then we're gonna stir in a cup and a half to two cups of chicken broth. But at this point, make sure that you take your spatula and scrape up the flavorful brown bits on the bottom of the pan. That's really gonna flavor your stew. Perfect. Now from here on out, it's just dropping in the rest of the ingredients. That's as easy as it is. So we are gonna do a can of black beans, a can of garbanzo beans that have been drained and rinsed, a can of dark red kidney beans, same thing. Canned beans are one of my favorite ingredients because you could add them to so many things. So this is a budget-friendly recipe and a time-friendly one as well. Then we add a can of diced tomatoes that have been drained, a can of corn, and our other seasonings, which is the rest of our curry, about another teaspoon and a half, and some ground cumin. Get that all stirred in, and then it's time for the star of the show, which is canned pumpkin. So I like to add about one and a half to two cups, and this is gonna thicken this stew. Okay, so the final thing is we want a good bit of salt, about a half teaspoon to a teaspoon, and then some freshly ground black pepper, and then some sliced green onions that I also picked up from the fresh cut section. And we are gonna let this simmer for about 15 minutes. So while this is simmering with the lid half on, we're gonna go make our homemade croutons. Once you try these homemade croutons, I promise you're never gonna go back. And they're so simple, this is a five ingredient recipe. So here we go. You wanna take your French bread and let's cut it into one inch cubes. So now that we've got these all cut into cubes, put them in a bowl, add about a tablespoon, give or take a little bit of olive oil, just enough to lightly coat. Now after we get the olive oil coated all around the bread, then we're just gonna season. So some salt, and then what I like to use is dried basil and then some dried oregano. So think of this as like your crouton template. So then we're gonna place these on a baking sheet in a single layer, that way the heat can reach every side so each piece gets evenly toasted. And into the oven they go for only 10 minutes. Oh my goodness, check these out. They turn out fantastic. Now to finish up our stew, we just turn off the heat. Oh, this looks delicious. Then we're gonna stir in a can of evaporated milk. So I like to do this a little bit different and serve it in mugs for my family. Let's get a few good ladles in there. Then we'll top it with our croutons. And then a few scallions on top. Doesn't that look amazing? So delicious. And this sweater meal is ready to serve. For this delicious recipe and many more, visit albertsons.com.